moments in the Word. I would like to ask you to ponder a question with me today. Exactly how much does your life relate to the life of the rich young ruler? For those of you who don't know his story, the rich young ruler was a young Jewish man who was very committed to God and his faith. He was a man who had accumulated a lot of wealth and was very well known and respected in his region. One day the rich young ruler comes to Jesus and he says to him, Sir, what must I do to be saved? Although this young man had followed the letter of the law and had done his best to please God, deep down inside he knew there was still something that seemed to be missing and he knew that Jesus would have the answer to what that was. Jesus turned around and began to reply to him and as he did, Jesus reminded him of the Ten Commandments and all of the laws that a good young Jewish man should follow. As Jesus went through them point by point, the rich young ruler was getting pretty excited because he said, I've done that, I've done that, I've done that, wow, I've done all of this. Yet Jesus still replied to him and said, that's all well and good, but there is still something you lack. Although you have completed all the points of the law, you're still coming up short. So he told the rich young ruler, that what he wanted him to do was to go and sell all the possessions that he had, take the money from the sell of those things, and give the money to feed the poor. Well, the rich young ruler was a man who had accumulated a lot of possessions and a lot of wealth, and the thought of having to give it all away to come and follow Jesus was a bit much for him to bear. He kind of hung his head in discouragement and walked away from Jesus, not quite ready to make a commitment such as that. So I ask you again, how much does your life relate to the life of the rich young ruler? Maybe you are a Christian who has served the Lord all of your life. Maybe you go to church every single week. Maybe you read your Bible and pray. Maybe you do actually take time to feed the poor and get involved in good community activities. And maybe as far as those around you are concerned, you are someone who has followed the point of every law and rule that you feel Christianity holds. But what would Jesus say to you today? Would he look at you and say, there is still something that you lack? You see, the Bible tells us that where our treasure is, there our heart is. In actuality, this rich young ruler treasured his possessions really more than he treasured God. So his heart was where his treasures were, which were his earthly possessions, not the relationship with God. In all actuality, what Jesus was really asking him for that day was his heart. Did you know that we can follow all of the things that Typical Christianity tells us we should do, and yet our hearts still be far from God? Yes, it is true. Jesus even said, these people worship me with their lips, yet their heart is far from me. Although God demands our obedience, and although the Bible tells us that our obedience is way better than sacrifice, God is really looking for our heart because it is out of the heart of love for him that true obedience is birthed. You see, the rich young ruler couldn't obey that day and feed the poor because his heart was not yet where it should be. So I ask you one more time, how much does your life relate to that of the rich young ruler? Jesus is asking you for your whole heart today. That may require some things you need to give up. Maybe, just maybe, there are a few things that you have began regarding in higher place and value than a relationship with God. Are you prepared today to give those things up so that you can come into a true relationship with God? He's asking, what will your answer be? Thank you so much for tuning in. Join us next time for another edition of Moments in the Word. Blessings. So much I want to do My mouth just keeps on running But I never follow through